Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to WeHoveTimes.com. Got another episode of Ask Ken. Ken, you ready for your question? I'm ready. It's about loneliness. Uh -oh. If I could ask a recovery specialist mm -hmm. any question, I would ask him what could I do about feeling lonely? I know I'm not the only sober, per sober person who feels this way. How do you handle loneliness in recovery? Well, um, unfortunately, that's part of the disease of addiction is isolation, loneliness, and it doesn't even have to be isolation. You could be in a room with a hundred people in the meeting and still feel lonely. You know, you still have that emptiness within you. Um, what I would recommend in that situation is to get out of yourself and go volunteer somewhere where you're helping another human being. Because if you're helping that other person, it takes away from that emptiness and that loneliness that we all share. We all have that and that's what could lend to ourselves to going and relapsing. And I don't want that to happen. So go in and really look for something that's gonna make you connect to other people and volunteering is a huge one. I do have a follow-up question. Sure. For you. Do you think, like, how can you determine if someone might be suicidal versus just lonely and depressed? Because I've lost quite a few friends in recovery uh, to suicide. And, you know, it's like, yeah, we all get lonely. Mm -hmm. But when can you, like, I know that there are certain signs of, you know, like giving away items and that sort of thing that, that are more obvious. But, you know, there have been people that have passed away and that I know in recovery that it was just like out of nowhere. Yep. And, and one of the things, the reason that is, is because what's happening with them is they're not really, I mean, they may be going to a lot of meetings, they may be working with their sponsor, but the reality of what's happening with them is they're not connecting inside. And maybe what they need to do is maybe it's a trauma they haven't worked on, you know, um, Recovery is really a process. Recovery is not about, I'm clean and sober and I, I know it all. It's about really digging in there and doing your work the rest of your life. And those are the people that end up committing suicide because they think that they, they reached their goal. They, they, they it, They're there. There is no there. We're never gonna get there. We have to continue therapy. We have to continue. Constant working. work. Constantly, everything's gonna pop up. No matter how many years of sobriety you have, things are gonna pop up. And if you're not willing to work on them, then that's where it leads you to depression and that dark road into suicide. Yeah, good question. And thanks for bringing your questions to us and we'll have some more answers for you next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.